Ladies and gentlemen, the clip you're about to see is not a Ram commercial, but we're hoping by making it cool enough, Dodge would hit us up and hook us up with a wide body Charger Hellcat. Or a Viper. I know they don't make them anymore, but I know they got one. <laughs> or a Demon. <laughs> we'll take anything, just hit us up. <laughs> on YouTube channel. Month of Freedom. All right, guys, look at that. The beautiful white bison. But before we get to that, more importantly, Cooper's shirt of the day. Got my Honda shirt on today, the OG one. Yep, represent for also our boy. growing out my afro. Emilio, yep. Got the afro coming in. Let's yeah. see the back. The world is not flat. Shout out to the Boosted Boys. All right, guys, today we are talking about my new 2020 Ram 3500. As you guys know, White Buffalo, my previous truck, is now James' truck. And uh, you've been ripping that thing. How's she been? Awesome. Absolute ripper. Got so, me a new windshield. Yeah, I had a cracked window for like three years while I owned it. James got it fixed first week. But I hooked him up with new tires. So it was like a trade. He got, I mean, he got the broken window. I but got, got a better some, deal. You got some tires. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, we're gonna give you a quick tour of the new unit. This thing is an absolute ripper. You guys have already seen it in a couple of videos. And the reason for that is I wanted to drive it and make sure it didn't suck. So I already have 2000 miles on it. Turns out it does not suck. This thing is freaking awesome. And I don't know, bump. All white Dodge Ram, dude. All white Dodge Ram. Hey bro, you got a, what kind of truck you got? Dodge Ram. Oh, Dodge Ram, all white? Uh, oh, you silver. got some silver, shoot, shoot. 3500? All white. All, all white. Dodge Ram. I got some silver, bro. Yeah, they're so cool. I have a stupid Denali. Freaking yeah. Denali truck, coupe. So uh, this is a limited, so it's the highest package you can get as far as the interior, which is amazing in this thing. I pretty much use it as a rolling office. So dude, we got freaking power door steps. And then you got this massive screen inside. Did that thing get your shin, dude? Oh. Hooked on. Really? Hooked it. I went, I went to open sound the real, real quick move and it just got me. Damn, bro. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Some skins. There's some. There's probably some blood right around here. <laughs> yeah, but the interior on this thing is super nice. You got uh, just everything about it is beautiful. And the best part about this truck, 55 gallon fuel cell. I am jelly on the interior. It is definitely a large improvement. I mean, Buffy's interior is great. Oh, like Buffy's I've, is awesome, but like what they did to these new ranches yeah. is so sick. Yep. And I mean, you know better than anyone, all I do when I'm in my truck is call people. Oh, so sorry. I talk to these guys on my way to work, on my way out of work every day, and uh, I make a ton of calls in the truck. So to have the new, uh, to have the new entertainment system in this thing works so good with your phone. Super stoked about that. The center console layout is super nice. I mean, everything is just great, dude. The, the whole truck is awesome. The one thing I, I do have to admit I miss is the mega cab. Yeah, you got it. I know, I got the baby cab. Yeah, so. Seats don't go as far back. I know, and you, Cooper and I rode uh, in it for a couple hours the other day, and Cooper was in the back seat, you know, JH was riding up front, and you said, I mean, it's just not the same. And you can't recline like all the way back, but yeah. you get the long bed. We got the long bed though. So, if you guys remember with White Buffalo, we actually couldn't tow the wedge trailer because it had a short bed, and the wedge trailer would swing and hit the cab. I mean, it would have, never did it, luckily. But I got a long bed truck, so now we can tow the wedge when we go to big events. And uh, that means no more mega cab. And 
you can see like inside here got my stuff in here already you cannot lean back like look the seat is actually touching the back of the cab already so you have the same amount of leg room you just can't move the seat back and you can't store stuff behind it which is definitely makes a difference like i'm right i seen a mega cab the other day driving i tried to take a picture of it but right here about yay big was just mushed from mushed. the toe and a, a wedge it happens man so I, i'm noticing it though like i have the storage under the seat in the mega cab and behind it and like now i just kind of have to have you know some random stuff like extension cord hans device just some random crap it all kind of has to just sit back here which you know that's just taking some yeah. getting used to once i get my tonneau cover i'll be good to just throw stuff in the back of the truck but definitely you know i'm adapting other than that dude this thing has a rear air suspension kit from factory too so Say you load this thing down with the wedge trailer and we put James truck on top and it's just got a ton of tongue weight, the truck automatically levels the rear end of the truck to its normal ride height. And then if you want to, you can actually hit a button inside, which is right over yonder. This button right here, alternate trailer height, that actually drops the back of the truck. You can see it move and uh, it'll lower the whole back of the truck about an inch. So it's kind of nice. If you hit the button, you can back up under your trailer and hit the button and it'll actually go back up under the ball so yeah, there she goes it's working she's it's working dude noises. yep she's got it air pump i can't can't crunch the soda can doesn't go that low not not any level can. Can. <laughs> need to any level dude so painted bumpers new tail lights look good but uh dude the freaking bed is massive the extra room you pick up with the long bed is insane I think the truck doesn't look as proportionately right with the long bed. Yeah, you gotta have a thing for long beds. I know, you really I do. Have a few of them. I'm getting I'm getting used to it. So Buffy just looks right to me. This thing looks like it's got a lot of bed for the cab proportion, but like look, this is three tires back here. Normally I'd have to stack them just to fit them in a short bed, so. 32 inch tall tires at that too. 32s boy for the crown Vic. Oh, I don't know about that, yeah. Cut. <laughs> Cut. Yeah, yeah. Skip. So, dude, look at this. One touch, freaking fancy. Bed liner on here. Yeah, you got the bed liner. Actually, check this out. Hold this for a second. Wait, that's one minute. He's got all the tricks today. What's he gonna do? Keep an eye on the bed. Wow. You do that for my key too, bro. So you're God. saying the best backer up for South of Mason Dixon no longer has to get out in the rain to drop his tailgate and hook up to his trailer? No, I do. Okay. I'm just Does it go can up? You, can you close it? Yeah, can you close that? Close that I was actually wondering. Doesn't look like you can. What you just said actually just realized. I was like, why would anyone need a button to open their tailgate? Because it's rain. We live in Florida. But There's if you're backing up, rains. if you're backing up to your uh, gooseneck, you just rain. hit the button. Boom. It makes sense now. Plus, right. Justin's trailer's got the wireless hydraulics, so I can just in the truck hook the whole thing up. And then you tell your, you know, your cow that lives in that store in the field, "Hey, come close the tailgate." Okay. Yeah, you just the get them to close it. Close yeah, them. you do have to close it manually. There is no button for that. So let's continue. 2021s have the button. 2021, it's coming back. So uh, the other thing that's nice is, you know, the truck you work in it definitely can be some distractions. This thing has the lane guidance, so it'll keep you in your lane. And then it also has the uh, front collision avoidance. So if you're about to rear end somebody, it will slam on the brakes for you, which can also be annoying because if you're driving down a one lane road and someone's like turning and you're just predicting it, it'll also slam on the brakes for you. First hand experience on that. Yeah, it sounds like he's almost <laughs> been. I almost licked the steering wheel. I'm pretty yeah. sure I was on the boat with Cooper and I was just like cruising, talking to him, dude. And I'm like, this, you know, normal prediction on the guy turning and the thing's like, <laughs> slammer in reverse so i can show you guys the backup camera options so you got your rear view you got this overhead view which my door is open so it's not showing the one side click that full screen you can click the front view here's your front view and then you can actually put a uh a camera on your trailer and it'll pull up the camera for your trailer look there's coop Cooper, i can see you brother so lots of neat camera gadgets on this thing. <laughs> Coop, look at the mirror. There you are, brother. Wow, there's a lot of lights and stuff on that mirror. It's just fancy, so. Man, that one looks expensive. Good thing I only 
accidentally hit the one on James' <laughs> truck. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> James, are you aware you have a brand new driver's mirror oh, on your truck? Uh, dude, look at that one. That thing's got dude, four that cameras, lights. That would have set you back. You do not want to hit this unit, dude. It's got all the bankruptcy on that thing. Yeah, Coop one day We're just half the, the that stacker mirror. trailer with uh, White Buffalo's mirror. Hey, did you see this thing though? This is kind of something that's not cool. Well, I don't know. It's kind of cool. Look at look at this thing. What a what a massive mirror mount. Yeah, that's a pretty intense mirror mount. Like that is just. I mean, that's a lot of your view. Isn't that kind of weird? You know what that is? That's telecommunications, dude. You can talk to NASA while driving down the road. I think you can do that, but it also, Never I think did. what that does is the front collision avoidance. I think they took it out of the grill. Put it in the windshield. They put it in the windshield. That unconfirmed, someone let us know on that. Yeah, that thing's a large unit. We did not do our research. That's for adjusting the outside mirror. Oh, wow. All right, so under here, guys, we got the Cummins 6.7 liter high output, 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. So, I don't know if there's really much to see, but we got it. So with the 6.7 at high output though, you get the Eisen transmission. So if you guys know we had some issues with the 68 RFE. It's got a built one in James' truck now, but the Eisens are really tough in these things. It's a six speed Eisen and a heavy duty trans. Should be pretty gnarly. Shouldn't ever have to worry about that. Other than that, I love the new headlights. Yeah, I gotta say, when we went and picked it up, yeah. the way the front of these new trucks look, all lit up, rolling down the road. Yeah, they're so sick. Mean. Hell yeah. So there you go, guys. That's it. Uh, just a quick little update. We wanted to show you the new truck. This thing is going to haul our equipment for years. I mean, uh, these trucks mean so much to the business. You have no idea how much utility they give us. They haul the equipment, they haul the cars, and the cars can't do their jobs without the trucks. The trucks are literally the most important piece of the puzzle and the amount of work we do out of these things and just how much we rely on them is insane. So having our trucks is huge and we all three have a super solid truck set up now. Oh yeah. Really excited, dude. That's, uh, that's, your, that's your 2020 Ram 3500 update. I'm super excited, guys. Thank you for all the uh, continued support, obviously. Wouldn't be able to get a truck like this without you guys watching the videos. And I think most of you guys remember when I got White Buffalo and how much that thing's done for us. So glad to see her staying in the family. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.